Don't buy this adapter from Tesla until you watch this video, get all the information, and then make your buying decision from Tesla Tips and Trips. The Tesla Chatamo adapter uh, is frequently out of stock on the tesla.com website. It's a way for Tesla owners to use Chatamo fast charging, like at Electrify America or uh, EVgo or ChargePoint, those kinds of places. It charges at about 50 kilowatts um, in terms of speed, and it's a good alternative to supercharging. The problem is, uh, Electrify America recently announced that they are going to be phasing that particular plug out at all of their locations, except for California. They're uh, apparently gonna keep those around for a little bit longer in the California market, in that state. Um, lots of Nissan Leafs, I'm guessing, our uh, Leaf owners are happy about that because that's the majority of, of usage of Chatham these days. So, what about us Tesla owners? Uh, do you want the Chatamo adapter? Or do you want to go with something maybe more future-proof? And if you're a long-time viewer of our channel, and I say long time because we've only been out for a couple of months, but you know about the video where we uh, show off the SeaTech CCS adapter, right? That one um, has gotten a little buzz recently. And it's probably because of this Electrify America announcement where they are phasing out the Chatamo adapter or Chatamo uh, option at their locations. So as of this recording, the Chatamo from Tesla is $400. Of course, you can't get it right now because it's out of stock, but if you could get it, it's $400. Also, as of this uh, video recording, there is a SeaTech, now Electron, I guess Lectron has cut a deal with SeaTech to uh, handle the distribution of their uh, CCS to Tesla adapter. When I bought mine, it was via SeaTech Direct and I got it for $460, which at the time, I mean, that's a lot of money. And I've probably only used it five or six times, mainly to make these videos, but I like having that option uh, if I'm out on a, on a road trip and with the growing number of superchargers getting uh, full and lines and wait times, and that's not gonna get better after uh, Elon's latest announcement that uh, he's opening up the superchargers to um, non-Tesla uh, EVs. So back to the thing, it's now $599 for the C-Tech slash Lectron uh, adapter. Uh, but the good news is it's now you can now buy it through Amazon. Before it was a little hokey through the SeaTech website. It's coming out of China. Yes, PayPal is legit and all that stuff. I've had comments on the website, but it just felt weird because you had to buy it through PayPal. You had to contact the company and give them your, I think, name and address. Um, it wasn't done through a form or anything like that. So the whole thing just felt a little weird. So here's where I'm going with all this. Do you buy the Chatamo for $400 whenever it's in stock? Or do you buy the $599 one and protect yourself from, you know, the future? Because those Chatamo, um, those Chatamo plugs at Electrify America, at least, are going to start disappearing. You're not going to see them. It won't be an option. And I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, you can find out on the app if it's there or not, because it shows you all the different types of plugs. As it is right now, there's usually only one. Um, per location, one Chatham per location. So it's not like it's been a huge option to begin with. Um, so in my opinion, yeah, $400, $599, still both giant chunks of money. Um, and if you're not in California, it's gonna start going away as, as an option. All right, taking a look at this EV Go uh, installation, they of course have uh, one Chatamo per stall, one Tesla per stall, that's very new, uh, a new development, and then one CCS uh, per stall. EVgo typically are more expensive, I've found. They charge per minute rather than per kilowatt hour, which is a little weird. Um, but at any rate, I don't know if EVgo has plans to uh, to start eliminating their Chatamos, but that's what they look like. They're the blue handles, uh, if, you, if you look closely. Um, I will try to go over to our Electrify America and show you that. Actually, I yeah, 
if you look at the install, here it is right here. If you look at the install at uh, Electrify America, they've got just one Chatamo and we've got, uh, I don't know, 10 CCS. So that's how it is at most uh, installations for Electrify America, who's uh, planning on getting rid of that Chatamo uh, outside of California. Lots of CCS, only one Chatamo, and that's gonna be disappearing. So that should factor in to your buying decision. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Carrie, what about Tesla superchargers? I mean, look at all these. This is the Santa Clarita uh, installation. There are 32 supercharger stalls right now, pretty empty. Uh, to our right here are the 250 kilowatt ones. Those are the uh, V3s. And then the rest are V2s at 150 kilowatts. So you're probably saying, oh, there's plenty of superchargers out there, plenty of locations, plenty of stalls. Why in the world would I need a Chatamo or a CCS at all? Well, I'm here to tell you that, you know, holiday weekends, Labor Day's coming up or has passed, depending on when you watch this. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's a thing. Lines are a thing. You see it on Facebook all the time. Lots of uh, Teslas are being sold every single day. I don't know if Tesla's gonna be able to keep up with the supercharging uh, infrastructure as fast as they're building the cars out. I mean, it's just crazy. It's a good problem to have, and I'm, I'm happy to see electrification, but um, having options is what this is all about. And whether you get the Chatamo adapter or the CCS, it gives you more options, especially with Electrify America building out their network pretty heavily, pretty extensively as well. And uh, you, you just wanna have those options. So in closing, um, you've got those two options. Uh, what you do is up to you. If you live in a state outside of California, you might uh, wanna consider this uh, sooner rather than later on uh, not getting the Chatamo and uh, opting for the CCS. Now here's another caveat that you might wanna think of. South Korea is already using the Tesla sanctioned and built CCS to Tesla adapter. They use the same uh, technology, same same connector as the United States. We don't have it here yet. We, we don't have that as an option. So we have to go with the uh, aftermarket CCS from CTEC now Electron. Um, do you wait for that one then and see how much that one costs? I've seen pictures of it online. Let me see if I can find one on, uh, to show you, but it's even more elegant than the one that we have now. I mean, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The, the CTEC one is a beast. It's a big adapter. It's like, what are you doing guys? But uh, hey, it works. It works well and it works every time so far on the latest firmware. You're gonna watch some other YouTube videos where it doesn't work ever or it takes him 15 tries. I saw that guy was still not working, um, but it works for us uh, every time on the latest uh, firmware from April of, of this year. So that's a thing to consider. The other thing to consider is it's $400 for the Chatamo. Uh, use it as long as you can, I suppose. But just know in the back of your mind that technology is uh, is old technology and it's not gonna be around forever. It's um, over 10 years old at this point. Um, CCS, you're gonna be able to future-proof yourself depending on whichever adapter you get from uh, from either CTEC or Electron. Um, so there you go. There is uh, your choices on whether to get that Chatamo adapter when it's in stock or not. Um, I hope we give you all, all the information that you need for this particular buying decision. Uh, hope you like what you're seeing here on Tesla Tips and Trips. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like what you see here. And uh, we've got all kinds of stuff planned. And uh, shoot some comments down below. What do you think about which adapter to get? No adapter. Uh, wait for the Tesla CCS, the Electron, the Chatamo. I want to hear it all. And any other uh, things you'd like us to cover, give me some ideas. Um, and, and we'll try to cover it here on Tesla Tips and Trips. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you on the next video.